Ah, it is morning. It is about nine o'clock. I've just spent the evening camping uh, by the side of Old's Water on top of this mountain, name of which I shall put here because I can't remember it. But I thought I'd take you quickly through what stuff I've been using. Uh, you might find it interesting. So, regards to equipment, tent. My tent is an Alp kit, Ordos 2. It's a two person tent. It's got enough room to sit up in. It's got a nice little vestibule here. And probably the best thing about it is it only weighs 1.3 kilos, which for a two man tent is super light. Especially considering one that you can actually sit up in. So, if it's raining, you know, or it's not nice outside or it's dark, you know, you can, I can sit in there, sit up, uh, sit at the entrance here, make dinner, you know, play cards with someone. Perfect. The only bad side about it is because it's so lightweight, you, you, there's going to be compromises. And that is, I would say, it's only really a two man, two man, a two season tent. You really only want to use it in summer. Oh, my knees are getting wet. You only really want to use it in summer or times when you know the weather's going to be very light winds like it is today. You know, definitely not stormy weather. Definitely not if it's going to snow or be strong winds. <laughs> so, but it's perfect for backpacking, stopping in the woods, throwing up in a field. It is perfect for that. So I highly recommend this, but if you're going to do something a bit more crazy, out of season, then you, you're going to want something better than this. Um, sleeping mat. I love this. Recently just bought it. I, I, re I before had an Alp kit sleeping mat, but it wasn't insulated. I mean, it was nice and thick. It was like that thick. Uh, it was about 50 quid. But I found that I kept getting cold, so I thought I'd go for an insulated one. And the insulated ones are more expensive and they're always thinner um, to try and save the weight um, side of it. But this one seems to have got the balance of everything. C to Summit, um, C to Sum Summit Comfort Plus, the rectangular shape. They also do a mummy one that's a little bit lighter. This is so comfy, it's crazy. I can sleep on my side. I can sleep on my back, I can sleep on my front, I can sleep any which way I want and it doesn't feel like you're actually sleeping on a on a hard floor on a, on a thin sleeping mat. It almost feels like I could be on a, a sprung mattress. It's that good. Some really good features of it. Um, firstly, the main thing, it's an insulated mat. So it's an R value of five, which is extremely good for a mat because the ones you think of one that hasn't got insulation in, that's just air, that's like 0.5 or something. So, you know, really, especially like this kind of situation, cold outside, cold ground, it's gonna keep me warm. What's really good, uh, it's got two, each side you pump up individually, so you've got redundancy. So if one side fails during the night, you get a hole in, then you want the other side still going to hold. So you've still got some uh, level of comfort and insulation going on. And it just deflates super easy. Boom. Boom. Pull that out. It's also got another tab. So if I put that back in, if I pull this top section out, then now I've got a one-way valve, so I can either blow it up by mouth, or I can use this bag, which is even cooler. If I attach this in here, gentle blow in there, and then just wrap it up and force that air. Pumps it up in no time, it's brilliant. And also, let's get the air out of that. Also, this bag that you can use for pumping up doubles as a bag to put the the sleeping mat in. So win, win, win. Make sure you got all the air out. Oh, and then also, regards, pillow, uh, another C to Summit. 
I don't know what this one's called, but they've got a variety of these type. But what I really like is deflates, inflates super quick, like two puffs of air and it's inflated. A nice, nice curved um, chamfered, shaved, what do you want to call it? Nice edge there and you can really get your head on it. And it, this bit here is slightly more um, comfortable as well than that side and perfect. And what I'll do, deflate this. And I will roll that up in here. Then it's all together. Shove that in this bag. And what if you do, what you do, uh, what I find helps is, because it's got this thing to plug in there to keep it uh, tidy. As you're packing it away, squeeze, squeeze all the air out. There we go. All right, so fold that over, spin that around, and we've got some clips here that I use to then... It is a bit tight if you haven't rolled it up as well as you could have, but then that's nice and packed away. Squeeze all the air out. Boom, done. Sleeping bag. Now I've got an interesting uh, solution here. So originally I bought this one, which is Alp Kit uh, Sky High 200, I think. It's their like lightest backpacking down um, sleeping bag. But when it gets cold and into the winter months, it's not warm enough. So what I did, they also do like a duvet and I use this as an extra layer to keep me warmer in temperatures, cold temperatures. Look at that. Nice little duvet. Tie it up at the end. It's got these clips. So I can clip it all the way down and then I just shove it in there. Keep it all together. And then on the outside, this plastic thing which is basically a Gore-Tex liner um, what they would call a bivy bag I always keep this is like 40 quid just basically means I'm waterproofing my sleeping bag in case condensation rain gets in or I spill you know I've got a cup of coffee and I spill it on me or something then I'm all good or if I just want to sleep outside then I can keep nice and dry because with the down, down sleeping bags, you want to keep them dry as possible because then they will last. And then that put into a waterproof stuff sack. Right, I'm just going to use this as a knee pad for now. Right, I've got, I always bring a, a what do you call it, a bladder of water with me. Um, I mean, there's other sources of water, but sometimes it, that's more hassle. I mean, it's all frozen for a start, uh, whereas I know I've got water, so I can just boil that up. And then to make dinner, I have... Um, a little kit that I kind of slowly developed over the years. I've got um, got a lighter. Um, I've also got a, a steel, but I didn't actually bring that with me. Um, I prefer using these type of burners. So instead of the ones that go straight on the top, which are smaller, it's rare that you've actually got a surface, a flat surface suitable for them putting a pot on it you know and it gets very top heavy so i like doing this very low to the ground spreads out a lot i can dig it in a bit so keep it out of the wind and then that just screws on there 
bang that on there, voila. And I find that burns, but well, it boils quicker than the, the other ones because it's got a bigger surface area. So that was, uh, that's a Go, Go Outdoors OEX, like their own range uh, little burner. And then I keep that in another Go Outdoors special. Uh, got you buy these little aluminium pots that got handles they fit together like that handles <laughs> if I can remember how to do it handles collapse do that and then it goes in the bag but then to make it even more useful I've got enough space in here to put, basically, to put all the uh, cooking equipment, keep that together. Throw the net on it, throw the net on it, and then it's just in one little pouch like that. Perfect. And in regards to food, the best thing and easiest thing is to buy some dehydrated stuff so I really like these fire pot ones they're about six pound a bag but they are very nice just boil some water put it in the pouch for 10 minutes rip it down get a fork boom done no mess no cleaning out pots and pans brilliant and then obviously bring some snacks with me to keep me going oh and uh, here's milk is probably one of the most annoying things to deal with because especially if you like your coffee and tea go into the UHT section I found these in Sainsbury's Arla lacto free they're like 50p a pound for a bag of five and they're these little pyramid containers that have just got basically enough milk for a drink every time and they, they are brilliant and then coffee you could bring a filter or some proper coffee these are just like big tea bags of with coffee in brilliant perfect so try not to litter put my bladder in for my bag I've got an Osprey Atmos 65 AD, so 65 litre. I've had this for about two years now. I've done hike, all types of hiking, going up mountains like I have today. Done long distance with uh, Hadrian's Wall with it, and I love it. And uh, one of my favourite features is this mesh pocket at the back, is I can just shove a jacket in there. Just random stuff. Um, brilliant. And it's got more than enough space to hold my sleeping bag I can get my sleep sleeping bag sleeping bag in here and my sleeping mat <sighs> really strong zips because you need them because you pack and stuff and there we go boom sleeping sleeping mat sleeping bag in there last thing Trying to be, trying to be lightweight as possible. I just brought one camera, Sony A7R2, the very versatile Sigma. It's Canon mount, so I've had to get the MC Sigma MC11 adapter. Uh, so the Sigma 24 to 105, which is a really good, decent range, especially if you've got one lens you can use. Um, so that works really well my Nissi filters and then just some spare batteries cleaning cloth and that has done me for this trip up the mountain just need to take the uh, tent down now normally I'd roll this up properly but I'll save that when I have to get the tent out, <laughs> I'll save that for another day. There we go. Just pop.
pop this on it. Perfect. Just got to pack you away now. Uh, with the tripod, shove a leg through there. And I've got some straps here. Tighten them up. Perfect. Gloves on. Now I'm ready to head home. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. A uh, little tidbit of my uh, backpacking gear. Hopefully you found that interesting. But I can't wait to get these uh, behind the scenes out to you because I have gone around. I've gone Peak District, Lake District, Scotland, West Scotland, East Scotland, back to the Lake District. It's been pretty amazing. Ciao for now.